Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's good, Kansas City? Um, back at y'all with another one. Don't want to take up too much more of y'all time. Just want to give you guys a quick rundown of what happened in the post office yesterday. So right when I walked in the post office, I noticed that it was extremely small. It was probably the smallest post office I ever seen. Um, there was a lady and her child in the building. Um, of course, we're not trying to record children. Well, I got a question for you, dude. If you didn't want to record children, then why the hell did you leave it up on your video anyway? I mean, blurring your video is one of the easiest things you can do. And if you didn't want to do that, well, dude, it just says something about how lazy you are. And really, that's a commentary on how lazy all frauditors are to begin with as well. Because, well... Don't you have to be a freaking lazy bum to go out and annoy people for clicks and views? Uh, yeah, most likely. So I was trying to focus on keeping the camera on the wall, but the employees there would kept engaging with me. So I had to put the camera on them, which of course is going to get everybody in the room. So they did call the cops on me and um, Officer Bush and Hines pulled up uh, and Bush is uh, actual thug. Uh, he actually assaulted me. He used force and... Uh, Pulled my arm, yanked on my arm, and pulled me up out the uh, the police station. I mean, the post office. Oh no! He hurt your will arm because you didn't want to cooperate with anybody. You know what you can do with that? Uh, you can cry me a river and build a bridge over it. That's what you can do. Um, something else that was really disgusting with them, with Hans and Bush, uh, they kept calling the post office private property, and I had no right to be on private property. Uh, the sergeant was actually dispatched out there. He did not take over the scene with him being the supervisor. It would have been good to see him take over the scene because he was letting Hans do a lot of the talking for him. Because at the end of the video, when they walk up, huddled up and use a gun, a thug uh, tactics to use the force, walking towards you trying to come up with some type of crime. I just thought that was really disgusting. And I thought Hans, I mean, uh, sergeant, uh, should have took over that right there at the end of the video. It do just cut off you guys. I apologize for that uh, I ran out of storage actually so man. I apologize. I'll be well more equipped for the next one But I'm gonna let you guys take a look at it until next time. Peace Le who? The her. Kansas City We out here at the United States Post Office North Kansas City Gladstone on Berry Road See if they honor and respect. This is a very small office. We gotta see if they still got them. Yeah, maybe you should take some reading classes to be able to read and comprehend this because. Yeah, I already know you're going to get this thing wrong. I've already got a uh, Ass Elmo clip lined up for us to enjoy because he tried to read the whole dang thing, but he wasn't able to do so in a uh, proper manner that uh, got every bit of the information. So I'm sure you'll do the exact same thing that that dumbass did. So let's carry on, shall we? By the way, dude... I'm going to teach you something about uh, video editing. Yeah, uh, there's a child that's about to be in the screen here in a moment. So you didn't bother to even try to hide 
the uh, fact that the child was there. In fact, you lingered on this child for quite a while. So, uh, I'm going to do something that you didn't bother to do. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into my editor, go to the effects section, and hit mask. And I believe it's under mask shapes, if I were no, wrong one. Wrong one. I sometimes forget which one it is. Rectangular mask, I believe it is. Yeah, that's it. And seeing as how uh, the child is really only at the bottom of the screen, I'm going to adjust it so that only 50% of this video is covered just enough to where we can see the adults but not see the child. Because, you know, you didn't even bother to do it. Hi. Hey, how you doing? You doing okay? I want a dinner shake. I mean, I want a Are you in the post office? I want a dinner shake. No. Can I help you with anything? No, I'm just recording. I want a dinner shake. Just recording? Yeah, there's no soliciting on postal property, right? It's no what? There's no soliciting on postal property. I'm not soliciting nothing. Mommy, I want a dinner shake. I don't think they're comfortable with you recording them. Well, they in public. Huh? They're in public. Mommy, I want drama shake. Okay. They're not okay with you recording them, sir. Look at this young lady. She's turning the other way. She's not okay. She's uncomfortable. Please don't make my customers uncomfortable. I want drama shake. Joseph, can you call? Uh, Nancy. Nancy. I want drama shake. I don't know. Shake. Can you call on one? I'm not going to do I want drama shake. Okay, Major. You call on one if you have to. I want drama shake. Oh. Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. I know that. What's his name? That is his name, sir. Asshole. Major asshole. Yeah, dude, uh, you need to really be careful with that kind of thing, because there's a lot of parents out there that, uh, well, they'll take care of business if you decide to record their children like this. In fact, you linger on this child for quite a while after this. So what I'm going to do is just fast forward through this because it was several minutes that you were lingering on this particular scene. you think I have a problem? Are you the postmaster? You had your camera on that child for several minutes, and you ask uh, why people think you have a problem? Uh, dude, the answer is obvious. No, I'm not the postmaster. Is I the work postmaster here. here? She's not. She's I not? work here. Okay. That's why I'm asking, what's your problem? I don't have a problem, sir. Then please walk up. Okay, then, dude. Uh, you've been asked to leave by somebody who's apparently in charge of this building, and now we have entered trespassing territory per Kansas statutes. Yeah, yeah, I know you frauditors don't believe in trespassing laws, but the fact is they exist, and they are enforceable per the Constitution because of the Tenth Amendment and all that. No, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna stay here. I have every right to be here. But you don't have any right to record me. I do. You just walked up to the camera, sir. <laughs> you tweeted. Can, can you take off your face if you think what you are doing is right? Can you take off your face? Look how close you is. Why would I take my mask off? Because you know what you are doing is not right, so you can't put your face out. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Joseph. Joseph, how you doing, Joseph? I'm doing fine. Yes, I'm just up here recording. For what? Just let me know and I'll give you whatever you want. I know what you can do for me while I'm here. Do you have the passport application? I don't see we them don't out sell here. Some, we don't do some here. Passport application, you have to go to Glassdoor. Okay. So what else do you need? 
What tails do you need? Only brown, all black. Yeah. Yeah, we've asked him to leave repeatedly. Hmm? What tails do you need? Thank you. Where? You want to know something funny? Mm hmm. Come here. This right here mm -hmm. is called Poster 7. Mm -hmm. They gave this to you in training when you was on Persian Road next to Union Station. Mm -hmm. Let's go right here. Mm -hmm. What do that say? Well, Frauditor, uh, yeah, I know you're not going to read it because it would go against your narrative to read it properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out an old-ass Elmo clip that will help us out right here. I mean, he reads only half of it. Like, you probably won't even read that much of it because I don't have that much confidence in you. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? Photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meetings, except we're prohibited, okay? It's not pro prohibited here. There are a number of things you glossed over in that. You didn't even complete the whole damn paragraph, and what you did read, you glossed over. The most important part that you did read, but totally ignored, was the part when used for public meetings. And there are no public meetings going on right there. So you don't have the authorization to do that without the installation head, which covers the last half of the paragraph you did not read. I will read the last part of the paragraph for you then. Prohibited by official signs or security force personnel or other authorized personnel or a federal court order or rule, other photographs may be taken only with the permission of the local postmaster or installation head. Photo say what? What do they say? No, no, say it. Say what it says. You right here, read it, sir. I can't read, so okay. read it. No, you read it. It's your job. You can't record someone who has come to the post office to do a business. You can record anything, but you can't record this lady. It's a breach of her privacy. That is all I'm trying to tell you. Okay, let me. you ready for this? Yeah. There's no expectation of privacy in public. Hey, dude. Uh, come in a bit closer. Uh, we need to have a little discussion. Uh, yeah, you do realize that you can be trespassed out of any property if you don't follow the regulations of that particular office. Yeah, they will trespass you, and that's exactly what's going to happen here. And yeah, you don't have to commit a crime to be trespassed because it is a preventative measure for douchebags like you. Can I take you and put you on the on online? You can if you're not at work. So can, that picture, listen Can to you me. take off your face? Listen to and me. Let this man Look how it. close you are to me. Why would I take my COVID mask off? You know it's coming back around this year, right? You know. <laughs> why would why see, would why would I want to take my why, why would I want to take my look how close you was to me though, sir? Because you. you are infringing on other people's privacy. You trying to infringe on my rights. I have a right to record. Does he? Does she have a right to tell you don't record her? She have a right to say it. And she told you right here that she doesn't want to come in. She didn't say that. I don't want you recording me. Okay. But are you still recording her? I'm recording yes. you. I'm in the same She's space. Right I mean, you can't stand next to her and, and, and expect me not to record. I mean, I'm not trying to record her. I can't record the post office. Let and we're in public. Something. Let me tell you something. Go ahead. I don't care what you are recording. Uh -huh. So I'm not hiding my face. Okay. If you are man enough, take off your face. Take off your face? Mask. Okay. If you are man enough, take off your face. Mask. Yeah, you spitting when you talk, man. So I'm I, I, I think spit come out your mouth when you was talking. So Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to catch none of that. You didn't even want to read the own rules and regulations on postal property. Let's see what happened when the cops get here, though. I heard you say you're calling the cops. Would you apologize if the cops tell you I can do it? Hmm? If the cops tell you I'm within my rights to record here, are you going to apologize? 
I'm not apologizing. Not you, not you, man. I'm not even coming for All you. All I'm saying you. is you can record everything here. I can. But you can't record the people who come in. L listen, if you're wrong, would you apologize? I will. Okay. I'm going to hold you to it. I'm going to step outside so she, so she can handle her. I didn't come for her. Okay. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, for auditor, uh, you're not very good at predictions in this scenario because, well, you are definitely in the wrong. For one thing, they asked you to leave, which that basically means you're trespassing now, and Poster 7 is not exactly on your side. And they will also tell you about the disturbances uh, clause in Poster 7 later on, which is another part where you are wrong on. So let's just go ahead and skip to the part where the police show up, shall we? Five minutes later. You give the wrong people power. Oh, and we got the police pulling. Mm-hmm. Hey, how's it going there, officer? What's How your you name? doing? What's your name and your badge number? Officer Bush, 4680. Thank you so much for being professional. What's your name and badge number, sir? Officer Hines, 04918. Thank you so much for being professional. I asked the young man if he needed anything when I realized that he was reporting my customers, and I'm like, I don't appreciate that. If it's anything I can help you with, go ahead and mm -hmm. let me know what you need. And he just continued recording. Mm -hmm. And um, the young lady that was sitting over here in line in queue, she was getting uncomfortable. You know, one of the sure. customers. So that's not okay. It's not appropriate. So mm -hmm. please, can you leave the property? Okay. Since you are not conducting any postal business. Mm -hmm. So he refused to do so. Okay. Well, I felt the need for you guys to come on by. Sounds like you need to leave the property or we're going to take you to jail. <laughs> well, come over here. Over here. Okay. Watch this. Over here. This are, you, is. are you willing to press charges? Let's yes, okay. Check this out. Excellent. All right. Can we get a supervisor? Can we get a supervisor? Right. No, right here. Listen, no. This is Poster 7. This is the rules and regulations. She said you're not conducting any postal business. Listen, listen to me, sir. Okay, let's talk outside. But, but this is the rule. Come on. There you go. Listen to this. Look at your vehicle. Look at, look at this. That's yeah, the but, rules and regulations saying yeah. I can't read it, sir. You didn't just get you're not, you're you're not conducting me I did. I asked him for a passport. I left and gave the lady her hey, own personal space. Not what you just doing. grabbed my arm. It's I got there. everything on camera. Uh huh. Can we, yeah, get so a can we get a supervisor out here, please? Well, please. you need to leave. This is public property. No, That's a not. lobby. No, it is not. This, this, this is a private, private business. A private I know it says United States Postal Service, but it's actually listen, a private entity. You're told to leave. You did not leave. Listen real quick, sir. Are you refusing to leave now? I'll, I'll, under threat of arrest, I'll leave. But listen. Okay, good. But, but go. listen. There's a poster seven in there. It says I have the. Just go look, sir. Can you please go look? But here, here's the uh, one thing I do know. I understand if this is a government building. I understand if this is a police station. I understand all, all that on a government building. Yes. And and and, and, and one more one, uh, one more thing, sir. You know, right now I'm doing a protected activity, no, First but, Amendment, but freedom no, of the no, press. This, this is freedom of the press. You've been told to leave. You refuse to leave. That was our first time ever saying to leave, sir. I got everything on camera. Not, right. Oh yeah. You got everything on camera, which is why we know that uh, you were asked to leave multiple times throughout the video, not just that one time that you claim. So, yeah, if the uh, video evidence shows that, why the hell are you lying to your audience? I'll tell you why. Because, well, you frauditors tend to fit a rather unique mold in that you are all, well, most of you are pathological liars. But the United States Postal Service actually is a private entity. It's not, I understand it says government, United right. States Postal Service, uh -huh. but it's actually a private entity. Okay. So it's not like- and Can we get a supervisor, building. please? I'm going to go stand on the sidewalk, we, we've but- got a, We've got a supervisor but, in the room. And I'm going to go stand on the sidewalk because you did tell me to leave, but when I go stand on the sidewalk, can you please, that's, that's the rules and regulation of postal property. There's a section for photos and photography. Can you please read that? It says I can take it in the foyer, lobbies, entrances. Okay. It's right there. I'm going to go stand there. We're going to wait on your supervisor okay. and they're going to let you guys know. Wow, man, you put your hands on me. That's an assault, man, if I haven't committed a crime. You can't walk me out. You can't put your hands on nobody. Ooh, buddy. Ooh, buddy. <laughs> Ooh, buddy. Oh, come on now, dude. You weren't assaulted. 
Just being pulled by the arm is the soul. Why are frauditors so dang fragile, both mentally and physically? I mean, if he thinks that's assault, then he should see the kinds of things that I went through whenever I was a uh, referee in a professional wrestling circuit. I mean, those things could have been considered assault, but the wrestlers weren't actually trying to hurt me either, and neither was this cop. Having that in mind as far as the kind of things that I did uh, while having fun, it kind of makes me wonder if these uh, frauditors are nothing but a bunch of sheltered mama's boys. Many, many minutes later... How you doing, sir? You Sergeant? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sergeant Gerner, how may I help you? Hey, can I get your name and badge number of clothes just for the record? My name? I just told you. My name I, is I couldn't hear with the wind. I'm Sergeant Gerner. My uh, badge number is 4944, yes. serial number. Yes, sir. I came in here today just to kind of get some public information. Uh -huh. I know I have every right to record in here. It uh -huh. actually have a poster 7 in there with the rules and regulations on poster property saying that photos and photography may be taken in the lobbies foyers and corridors what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things i have ever heard at no point in your rambling incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it God have mercy on your soul. Okay. Clear as day. Right when I walked in, the lady had, she triggered the, the issue. Uh -huh. She said, hey, what are you doing here? I said, I'm just recording. Mm -hmm. She's like, well, you can't record here. You can't record my customers. She said, this lady do not want to be recorded. The lady didn't even say nothing yet. Mm -hmm. But I even left the building just to give the lady her privacy, okay. which I really don't even have. I didn't have to do that. Okay. Anything I see in public, I can record. That was just a little lobby. I wasn't going to be in there that long. Look how little it is. There's nothing in there. Okay. But I did ask them for a passport. They let me know I have to go to another building. I couldn't even get public information to ask them. I'm just documenting as I'm handling my business. These gentlemen, I forget his name, but he actually grabbed me and pulled me out the pulled me out the office. Not even letting me show him the rules and regulations on postal property. This is a First Amendment protected activity. You cannot turn that into a crime. You and the postal people took an oath to uphold the Constitution. Geez, this guy really memorized the frauditor script now, didn't he? It's a shame that it fails to hold water uh, 99.99% of the time, and the rest of the time, it's just cops who don't know anything about Poster 7 that end up letting it slide. Now, if this guy actually put out as much energy in actually reading these statutes and posters and everything like that, as much as he did with the fraud or the script, well, he would be a very well-educated person, but unfortunately, he decided to take the really dumbass path. And you pulled me out the building, sir, when I'm telling you I have the right to because do so. You weren't leaving when you were told to I don't have to leave. They can't make me leave just because I got a black shirt on. I have to commit a crime for you to make me leave this property. They, ask you to leave, you they can't just leave ask me to leave. Trespassing. No, it's not. That's not a trespass work, sir. If I'm at the police department, you can't just say, hey, leave. I have to commit some type of crime. Or if you're causing the disturbance, I didn't cause it. people feel uncomfortable. I didn't. You, that's a, that's a, another. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Now I'm not making nobody uncomfortable by recording. You can't turn protected activity no, that, into a crime. You, you're you're absolutely right. Um, you can record anybody you want. And I didn't say you're nothing. Not interfering with any work or anything I, like that. They came out to me. Okay. All right. Oh, it's a little lobby, sir. Once you walk in there, you see it's little. It's okay. it's. There's nothing too much you can do or say. I just had a couple questions. Okay. I was in there 20 seconds and the lady ran out to me. 20 it went seconds? 20 seconds. You got that on your phone? I got that. See, the lady was seconds. outside. She was outside getting something out of somebody's okay. car. So when I walked in, she came in right behind okay. me and was like, hey, what are you doing? You can't record. So, and 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 what's your name again? Your name and badge number? Bush put his hands on me and pulled me out the office. Yes, he did. Because you can freely leave when I told leave, you. But I'm going to go talk. I haven't talked to the manager, uh -oh. so I'm going to go. Okay. And, and you got to let him know just because they want me to leave minus a crime that you can't do that. Trespassing is a crime. Trespassing is a crime, but I wasn't trespassing. You got to commit a crime first. Oh, yeah. Trespassing is a crime, but you don't have to commit a crime to be trespassed. 
They just got to ask you to leave. And if you don't leave their property, then that turns into trespassing. It's this whole issue of having to commit a crime before you're trespassed is a load of bullshit anyway, because if you start off by being disorderly, which your disorderly conduct or anybody else's disorderly conduct can lead to fears of what you are going to do and retaliation. So it is a preventative measure, douchebag. Many hours later. Dang, there's a forest. Was you able to see poster seven? Second. Was you able to see the rules and regulations on I the wall? See, did you also did you also see the the rules about disorderly conduct and if you're impeding uh, customers doing? I didn't business? say nothing to nobody, sir. Right when I walked in, the lady instantly she came outside. So right when I came in, she came right behind me. I didn't even know who she was. She just started talking to him. She could have been a customer. I don't know. So once, once I noticed that the lady was really just uncomfortable, I went outside so she could handle her business and then just came back. And I only hung around because they said they was calling you guys. Right, right now you're on, you're on sidewalk anyway. You're, not, you're on public property. And here's right. the deal. In that foyer is public property. You're correct about that. But the, the issue is when you're making customers uncomfortable, that's a prohibited act, which prohibited act, which is on that rules and reg regulations. If you're impeding any business, any customers doing business, that's a prohibited act. That's yeah. on that rules and regulations. This is a First Amendment protected activity. You cannot turn a, a First Amendment protected activity into a crime. Have you got an extra go to 10 line? Yeah, I think this guy's definitely got an extra go to 10 line. He's going to go to his circular reasoning because he's got nothing left the fraudulent script in this scenario has most certainly failed him he just can't think for himself or he would have gotten out of this situation with the silver tongue like uh other frauditors like uh dma or uh, uh long island audit would have yeah so this guy yeah, you're not that great. That's public property. I'm not saying nothing. I can record. Your feelings don't overrule my constitutional right. So if you're uncomfortable with me recording you and we're in public, you go to Disneyland with your let me with, read, let me you go read. to Disneyland with your kids and you about to take a picture. You gonna make everybody behind you sign a waiver? Oh, that's a nice little false equivalency fallacy right there, dude. You're comparing essentially apples to oranges. You got a post office which is uh well a yeah public property for the most part where you can get uh your business done but then again on the other hand you've got an amusement park which uh fully welcomes people with cameras while poster seven uh well doesn't exactly allow for that so yeah definitely a false equivalency fallacy dude Try, try, try again, you freaking moron. They uncomfortable being on your... Let me read the, the actual word. Come on, Sergeant. Come on, get them. This is public. This is public. This is public property. It's a public building, but if you're making people uncomfortable, I'll read this to you so you can get it all on, on your... Disorderly <laughs> conduct. I'm conduct not impeding it. creates loud or unusual noise or which impedes entrance or departure to post offices or otherwise obstructs the usual use of I didn't do none of that. foyers, corridors, I offices, do none of that. elevators, stairways, none of that. parking lots, or which otherwise tend to impede or disturb the public. I didn't do none of that. You just said in your own words that you I made that gal uncomfortable. I didn't do none of that. Which is their right to do in order to ensure that the post office operates as well as, as, well as it can. Now you're out here, you can report all you want. We can't keep you from going back in there now once we leave. But again, if you continue to do the acts that make people uncomfortable, make the workers and make the pe the public in general uncomfortable when they go in there to conduct their business, That's I'm sure we're going to be activity. called back out here. And then we'll call the postal inspector and have them come and take care of us. Okay. okay? And, and, and again, one more thing, you guys. Do you already have this info? Yeah, no, we have not. You just want to give it? Do you, do you want to provide us your information? Am I obligated? Okay. So can I go back in there? It's only fair since you got all our information. <laughs> You're public. You're a public servant. I'm private. Back on sidewalk. He said I can go back in there. He said he can finna leave. Damn, damn, look at this dude. Like I said. 
wow, man, this. <laughs> oh, man, he wanted to make an arrest so bad. Wow. Uphold our constitutional rights, man. This dude right here. This dude right here. Yeah, skate. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. And it ends right there. I don't know if he got arrested or not, but he might not have uh, been in there for too long. He probably didn't want to poke the bear. Dude, if you want to go to jail, well, that's your prerogative. If you want to continue to get trespassed, then follow the fraudulent script. Yeah, get yourself trespassed to the point where they create another case law that, uh, well, doesn't exactly work out in the favor of frauditors. Just like Denver Metro Audits did. He wanted to create case law that was beneficial toward the First Amendment auditors, but all he did was hinder them. Do you want to do that same thing, my man? Keep on doing what you're doing, and you'll become famous. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?